Hey, how are you going? Welcome to day nine of the 90 day video challenge. I have to admit, today has been a bit hard to try and come up with something to talk about. I've been putting it off all day because I have lots of excuses about being busy and being tired and all sorts of things. But I think I've decided that I just want to reinforce a message that I had already given a few days ago. So I don't know if this really counts, but I'll make it count. It's just do it, just do it, just do it. Stop thinking so much about it and making it so complicated and just do something about it. I actually did that today, so I just did it. Now I'm just doing it twice. Because the first thing was, um, it's just a small example, but I had, <laughs> I had my push bike um, downstairs in the basement at my work for about four months and I keep telling myself, oh, I'll, I'll prepare and I'll bring this and I'll bring my shoes and I'll make sure it's a nice day and I've got to bring my bike pump so that I can ride my bike back home. And it's been weeks and weeks and now it's been months. And then today I finally went, oh, I might ride my bike home, but I didn't bring the right bag. And, and I went, you know what? If I don't do this now, then I'll never do it. So I just went downstairs, grabbed the, grabbed the bike. The tire was a little bit flat. I didn't have a pump. And then I went, you know, I'll just go anyway. And so I just went. It was all imperfect. I had this bag that wasn't really the best thing. It wasn't a backpack. It was like a side saddle bag. Um, but just figured it out. And then found a bike shop, pumped up my bike. And I got home like an hour later, an hour and a half later. I stopped on the way to try and write some notes about what I'm going to make for this video. And that didn't really work. But anyway, it's just about doing it. It's never going to be perfect. But if you just do it, then you'll achieve, you'll make that small achievement. The second thing that I'm just doing now is just making this video. Because as I said, I was, I stopped halfway through my bike ride and went and sat in a park and then took my book out to start writing about the topic that I'm supposed to talk about today, which is why I love languages and talking to people. And I was kind of trying to make it perfect and it didn't really work. And I went, you know what, I'm just going to go home and figure something out. So I've had a shower, now I'm here and I've decided I'm just going to ad lib because if I just get on with it and think off, off the top of my head, then I think that all, the same message ultimately will come across, but it might not be perfect. So he goes, yesterday I talked about dancing and why dancing is so great and why I'm so passionate about it. Today I'm going to talk about languages and why I think languages or language in itself is such a beautiful thing and why I'm so passionate about learning languages. So the first, actually first I'll give you a bit of a background. Um, I'm really lucky in that I have several languages already um, because of the fact that I was born in Brazil. I have a Danish father and an Indonesian mother. So at home, I hear a mixture of English, Portuguese, Danish, and sometimes even Indonesian, now that my grandma's with us. And when I went to study university, I went to Denmark and then learned to speak Danish. I already speak Portuguese. It's not perfect, but it's there. And I also learned French at school, which was facilitated by my Portuguese. And I just really loved it. So the reason why I think that I love languages is because it gets you to think in a totally, it's the same concept of communication, but it's in a totally parallel world. So you actually use a different part of your brain, especially as an adult language learner, because you're very conscious of what's going on around you. So it's about challenging yourself and using a different part of your brain. Another thing that I find really amazing about languages is that it's technical. It's a very technical way of learning. You really need to sit down and read books and learn the theory and the rules behind the language, just like music. But then, in the same way as music, you can then express yourself so freely and however you want. There are endless ways to actually put sentences together and to express and to you know, sing and to write poetry. And I find that a really beautiful thing. There's no one way of, of, of expressing and communicating through languages. The third thing is, is that if you do learn more than one language or if you do speak more than one language, I personally, this is from a personal perspective, I kind of see that you see the world in a bit more of a broad sense um, because you know there are other ways of saying things and in somehow, I don't know, that somehow reflects to the way that you see things too. 
um, or at least that's what people have commented on in the way that, I don't know, I see the world. Uh, the other thing is that if you learn a language, for example, if you learn Spanish, that then opens you up to a whole continent almost of Spanish speaking countries where you get to really delve into the richness of that, of that country's culture or the Spanish speaking country's culture. The same with Chinese, the same with Russian, the same with any language really. Um, perhaps not Northern Europe because like when I was speaking Danish and learning Danish, everyone spoke English anyway and they all wanted to practice their English with me or make me feel more comfortable by speaking English, so it kind of defeated the purpose of me learning Danish, but it felt good. Um, yeah, and I I haven't actually practiced foreign languages in quite a while, and I'm actually quite surprised and disappointed at myself. And I think the reason why I haven't been practicing that much is because I'm out of practice, perhaps which makes me feel like I'm not speaking it very very well, not, not perfectly, which makes me go, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm going to put it off. And again, this goes back to the, to the first thing that I talked about in this video, which is just do it. So I need to take my own advice and just do it and go out there and go to, you know, Portuguese or French speaking meetups and just going out there and speaking imperfectly, making a whole bunch of mistakes, laughing at myself and then learning from that experience. So that's my message for today. I just rambled on a lot, but I'm actually feeling really good that I just finished this video now and now I can continue going on and doing all the other crazy things that one has to do on a Tuesday night. Okay, have a great night. Bye.